Right, Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, Waharaka Kadash, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I honor to you, brothers out there on the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And um, I just want to touch on this uh, uh, clip here with this um, Israelite woman from Nigeria. All right, and she's, she speaks some things which are, is true in regards to Jake. You know, um, Jake that grow up in the West on the East or Edom are the most cursed, man. They got, they got the most problems because Esau could manipulate them more. And that's why the so-called Negro in America is the worst version of Judah you can get. There's Judites scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, but the worst version of Judah is found in America. Why is that? Because of Esau. You know, the, 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 the experimentation of Esau on Jake just destroyed Jake genera generation after generation, where Jake really ain't got no... Basically, Jake are an empty vessel, man. You know, whereas certain Jakes, especially from West Africa, they didn't they didn't have East. You know I, mean? I know there was colonization, but Esau didn't get a chance to experiment on them the same way. So they got a lot more to them, and you notice that. You know, they got more family structure, more more positive culture. You know, they still they're not perfect. Obviously, they're Jake. They're under the curses, but you could see the difference until they moved to the West. And then generations down the line, they get in infected by Esau's BS, and then it all goes downhill from there. But um, let me play her, her um, clip. I didn't think of myself as black when I was in Nigeria. So we identify... She, like, in, she went, <laughs> in, when you're growing up as a so-called Negro in America, um, you think of yourself as black. You grow up as a so-called Negro in Britain. You think of yourself as black. Your, that identity, it's not only pushed on you, it was pushed on your parents. It was pushed on their parents. It was pushed on their parents. So it's ingrained into us to identify with being black and every, every, everything negative that comes with that. Everything negative that comes back has been ingrained into us. Whereas uh, the Nigerians are, are considered black, but they're more sheltered from the experimentation. So they have more of, uh, of should, I, should I say, more of a sense of their own identity, which can be positive in a way, if you understand what I'm saying. They don't have to, to, to have all the negative stereotypes and the negative connotations that come with being black rammed into their brain by the media, by the education system, by, you know, on a daily basis. All right. The basis of ethnicity and religion but not race because we don't need to and when i went go into nigeria they kind of divide themselves based more they identify themselves more on tribal terms than skin color terms so you got yoruba you got uh, um you got yoruba you got Igbo, you got ga you got these different tribes and and that's how they don't they don't run around saying i'm black and this that and the other they represent their tribe all right, which is more close to how it should be. It's not perfect because they're not, they're still lost um, to a degree because they've lost their their heritage. But they still aren't a aren't a what should I say? They aren't a um pure or impure product of Esau's propaganda. If you understand what I'm saying, which is only destructive to the highest degree. Being calling yourself black is literally the worst thing you could be. <laughs> literally according to the definition to the u.s it was a very strange thing because it's one thing to know intellectually that there is race in america and i had seen roots and that sort of thing but it's quite another to, to sit in, in america they divide even though it is a division based upon the real term of race the way they manifest it is goofy and confusing because they separate in people by skin color it's 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 dumb class and the professor comes in and he has a pile of papers it's the first essay we've written for the class and he says um this is the best essay and i want to know who wrote it and he calls my name and i raise my hand and on his face i saw surprise and it was a very small fleeting moment but it was a moment where i realized that for him it was surprising that the black person had written the best essay because in america 
and Britain, wherever Esau is, for hundreds of years, the experiment was to put Jake down. Like to call Jake Black and say, you can't. You, are, you can't and you are incapable. You lack intelligence. You lack this. You lack that. Almost everything that Jake is doing today, that Jake have done, have fought to do. There was a time where Esau taught that Jake wasn't capable of doing it. Jake wasn't capable of being a doctor. Jake wasn't capable of, of, of flying a plane. They lack the intelligence. They're animalistic. And that was the part of the, 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 the mind fuck that Esau did to our people, which is a big reason why, our, why world star hip hop is world star hip hop. It's generation after generation of being destroyed in the mind by Esau's propaganda. And it all started with reprogramming us as being black. And a good example of that, right, is at the hands of persons unknown, right? So this is an excerpt from that book. It says, the Negro is a fellow of many natural defects and deformities. So remember, for years... Esau taught that we were less than human and we had natural defects and deformities. So everything about us was wrong. Our skin color is a deformity. Everything about us is, is negative. It's, it's not good. It's inferior. Obviously, we know that's not true, but that's the, that's the experiment. That's the, the poison which was put into our minds, you know? ran a typical passage in the joke, a question for a continent, a popular literary as Assault on Blacks, written by Hinton R. Helper and published in 1867. Not only is he cursed with a black complexion, so Esau actually taught that it's a curse to have a black complexion. And still to this day, they are, you know, uh, vitamin D deficiency, which has been proven scientifically to be a lie. All right, so-called... Black people don't have uh, vitamin D deficiencies are overdiagnosed in so-called black people. When they check the actual um, uh, active form of vitamin D in the bloodstream, we don't have no deficiency. There's not. There's nothing being. There's nowhere on the planet, right, where it is inferior to have melanin in your skin, which is what except except the deep underwater or underground. And even there, it's not a deficiency. It's just your body doesn't need it because melanin is is created to protect the human body and anybody because animals also possess melanin and plants but to protect the DNA of living organisms from the harmful uh, um, ultraviolet rays. And everywhere on the planet, including the North and South Pole, is baked every day in um, in uh, um, ultra ultraviolet rays. Right, there's nowhere on the planet where it's not beneficial to have dark skin, or 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 to be of color. That's a lie that Esau teaches. Oh yes, yeah, so when we went into Europe, we evolved to have um, translucent skill skin. No, there was there's no need to evolve translucent skin skill skin because guess what? There's something called snow burn. There's something called snow snow blindness. Right, you need dark eyes in in Europe, and you also need skin with melanin in Europe because they get skin cancer in Europe. So how is it beneficial? You can get vitamin E from your diet and you, even if you're a melanin, melanated person, you still get melanin, melanin uh, from your skin. It's just that the inactive form will be less than the, uh, but it's the active form that's important. So that's another lie they like to, because they're trying to hold on to that. No, there's no benefit of, of not having melanin in your skin. There's no benefit. That's why it's called leprosy in the Bible. Leviticus, the 13th chapter. Go and read it. It's leprosy. It's a plague. There's no benefit to it. Esau tries to make a benefit, but there really isn't. There is no benefit to not being protected from ultraviolet uh, radiation. There's only downside. That's why the, the fuckers age the way they do. All right? Anyway, he tried to pull that one. That's why our people are bleaching. That's why... That we, we look at the so-called white man and their skin as being um, beauty. Like you get the, the term fair. The term fair doesn't mean light skin. Fair means good. They turn the term fair into meaning light skin 
meaning having a, a, a leprous skin is fair. She's fair, not fair skinned. No, that's not what the word fair means. The word fair means good. Melanated skin is fair skin. Good, good, smooth. Um, like uh, right, like R. Right, uh, Kelly said, pretty brown, round, driving me wild. <laughs> right? That's the truth. And now it's coming out because that's why they're all tanning and getting bronzers and all that. Because they know it's true. You having that cornmeal look ain't the way forward, mate. Trust me. Looking at cornmeal. Come on, star. Yeah? It says an apish aspect, so they try to say we look like apes, which is just ridiculous. We just look like men and women. This is dumb. We don't look like apes at all. Well, there might be some niggas that look like apes. <laughs> But there's some white, so-called white people that look like apes. So, wait, hold on, what about Martin Keown? What does Martin Keown look like? Go Google Martin Keown. K-E-O-W-N. Right? And a woolly head. So showing you they know that the so-called Negro had a woolly head, just like Yahweh Shai. Hair like the pure wool. He is also rendered odious by an intolerable stench. So they said we stink. Yeah, well, of course. That was part of the curses. The scripture um, spoke about that that, uh, that stink. Why? Because where we we were brought down to the level of a bond slave working in the fields all day, not being provided with soap and the, the dainties that we were used to. But we didn't. Anyone would stink in that condition. They show you that in the movie um, Twelve Years a Slave, where she was she had, she tried she tried to run to a next uh, plantation just to get soap. But that doesn't mean that inherently we just stink. Anyone can stink. But that was Esau, a thick skull, right, and a booby brain. So our brain was inferior. We are not as intellectual. They call it the bell curve. You know, the IQ, we have lower IQs. All that comes from Esau, and Esau has overtly and subliminally pushed that into the minds of our people, especially the so-called Negro in America, because he, he got them right there under his, under his arm, under his foot to experiment on. All right. Helper was a unionist and had opposed slavery, but came to resent northern efforts to turn southern freedmen into citizens. S uh, sections of this book bore titles such as the Negro's vile and vomit provoking stench and black nobodies. Right. So this idea that we ain't ever been shit, you know, like we ain't we, we ain't been nothing. We only could be something on the Esau. So all our history of greatness all the people of us that are great, they only could be great on the Esau system. That's why they took our history away. In the latter, he provided exhaustive lists of accomplished people through all human history, statesmen, historians, philosophers, artists, and explorers, and dared the reader to offer the name of even one Negro whose achievements would deserve inclusion. Well, uh, uh, Solomon. I mean, is, this is why Esau lied, man. And those lies have reached throughout the world, but those lies are, are fully concentrated in the minds of our people um, in America, man, and Britain. You know, because Esau was able to get full control over them, man, and destroy them completely and utterly. Let's get Solomon, and I want to get... Uh, where song is Solomon, man? Uh, uh, Songs of Solomon 1 and 5. Solomon says, I am black, but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Look not upon me, because I am black, because the sun hath looked upon me. Yeah? My mother's children were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but mine own vineyard have I not kept. All right? So Solomon was a man of color. And we could go, you know, we could go all day into the scriptures, the color scriptures to show that, our people were people of color, including Yahweh Shai. Uh, Revelations uh, 1, 15. And his feet were like unto fire, fire and brass, or fired bronze, it's actually bronze there, not brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And, and oh, <laughs> verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So they were white with woolly texture as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. All right? So these devils, they lie. That's why they had to lie, man, and, and take our history away and disconnect us 
and basically turn us into fools, empty vessels, so they could pump their poison. And that poison has destroyed us. That's why our people got no self-esteem and they got false pride. They pride themselves in their own destruction because they're empty vessels. They've been programmed this way. That's why the Bible says this, Woe unto them that giveth unto his neighbor strong drink. And the, the people who got this to be drinking that the most are the people closest to him. Right? Habakkuk 2 and 15. Woe unto him that have given his neighbor drink that put his thy bottle to him and makest him drunken also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. So that's why the, the, the guy couldn't believe that a so-called black uh, 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 person, woman or man, wrote the best essay. Because the so-called white man and the so-called black man in America have been programmed to see the so-called black man as intellectually inferior. Whereas in Nigeria, they don't think like that. And that's why the Nigerians come to Britain and they come to America, especially the Yoruba. And they, because the, 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 the Yoruba tribe, they're known for, for value and education. And they pass that on to their children. And they're highly educated. They're the most highly educated demographic in above the Chinese and all that, above Esau in, in um, uh, Britain and America, which disproves the whole bell curve. This proves the idea that so-called black people are just inherently stupid. No, they're not. What's how, it's, it's, it's nature versus nurture. Our nature is to be great, but we've been nurtured by Esau Edom to be destroyed and to be low as a people. Yeah? All right? And then, and then you've got the Igbo people, the Igbo people, um, the Igbo tribe from Nigeria, which they're also Israelites, Jakes, right? They, they value business, being business-minded. They rather build businesses rather than, than get higher education. But that's why they look at the Negro in America like, what's wrong with them? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with them. Esau. Esau destroyed us as a people. Devil. Boy, I realized that for him, it was surprising that the black person had written the best essay. America is a world in which black people don't do the best things. Black people are not expected to do the best things. Yeah. Not, they don't do the best things and they're not expected to. That's why anytime Jake has, had, uh, has done anything great in America, they've had to fight and fight and fight and fight. You read all the stories. The first, to be a doctor, to be anything great in America, you have to fight like, like with, with no end. And they're going to fight against you because they don't want you to be great. They don't even want you to think you're, you're capable of being great. Yeah, Salakia, Salakia, man. I was just... um. The, the brother just called me uh, Rataza, um, Rataza Allah, man. And he he from Nigeria. He was just saying, yeah, like, um, them man go over to America. They're not trying to, like, play football or, or, or be a rapper. Even though you get a small amount of them that do, them man don't rate that. They don't they don't look at that as being the way out, man. Them man go there to to, to become engineers and, and, and they... they you know, actually get decent, decent jobs and and captain industries and all that kind of stuff. They got a different mindset. But where does that come from? Why is there a difference in mindset? The difference in mindset is because the Negro in America is raised in America, and America is anti-Negro. It's it's there to destroy your mind. It's not they're both Israelites, but it's the mindset that's different. You know, but then you you know it, it don't all work out because you know the curses, but that's that the Esau being in America is it adds to the curses, man. That's where it's the worst, especially for the mind. But that's a good point, man. Them man are not on this the this sportsman thing the way the way the African American is on this sports thing. Sports and rap, you know, it's crazy. But that's because they've been programmed to think that way. You know, from the day they were born in that in that place. But anyway, um, where was we? Black people don't do the best things. Black people are not expected to do the best things. And I remember finding it quite silly because I'd come from Nigeria and I thought, surely he knows Nigerians are all brilliant. They got a different mindset. And you see, when you know that your potential, this is the beauty, this is the, the, the beautiful thing about knowing you're an Israelite. When you're when you understand you're an Israelite, right, your potential becomes infinite. 
when you're a black person, you're limited. You're, it's negative. You got limits. You put limits on yourself because Esau created the black man and he put limits on the so-called black man. And you've inherited those limits. What does the word potential mean? Uh, what is the word potential? This is gonna this is gonna show you something. Every Israelite, right, has extremely high potential, and I'm gonna show you why. What does the word potential mean? Oh, jumping the gun there. Potential is what is possible, as opposed to actual, right? When you're born. When every man is born on this earth, he has a potential. Gifts that the Lord has given unto them. Whether you achieve your attention, a potential or not, that's down to the most high. Or you have a potential, a ceiling. Like even when you, even when you, um, if you know anything about sports, they'll say, oh, that guy, you might have two players that are around the same level when they're like 13, but you can look at one and say, yeah, he got a higher ceiling than the other. Meaning you know that this guy, if you really push himself, he will reach to a much higher level than that other guy could, could ever reach. Because there's there, that guy limit is lower than the other guy's limits. And you can tell. Because all men weren't created equal. Well, as an Israelite, we're the people of the highest potential. Because we're the chosen people of the most high. It says capable of being or becoming Potential from potentia, meaning power, might, or force. Now, who is our power? Who is our power? Our power is the living God, right? So, we are the people of the highest potential. Because we are the people of power. We are the people of the most high. We are princes of power. So, who has a higher potential than us in all things? No one. We are the people of the greatest potential. We are the royal people of the earth. You understand? So that's why it's important to know you're an Israelite because now you look, you could look at yourself and say, "Raw, like I'm nowhere near what I should be. Now I need to start striving to reach those heights through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Like I can be, I am intelligent. I am strong. Do you know what I mean? I'm an Israelite. I can do better than what I'm doing. But you see, the the the, the way of blackness is slackness. <laughs> I like that. The way of blackness is slackness. Jake accepts low standards for themselves and for their people in everything that's not self-destructive because that's the nature of blackness. Blackness is low in standard. Blackness only excels in self-destruction because that's what Esau Edom wants for you. Whereas if you understand you're an Israelite, you know that you can excel. But, oh, cast him down from his excellence. Esau was set up to cast us down. From that excellence, let's get that. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that. Oh, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Psalms. <clears throat> Hold on. I think it's like nine. What is it? Yeah. Psalms 62 and 4. They only consult to cast him down. And that's why they've come up with all these different methodologies to break Jake uh, in the mind right to to bring these the different structures in to hold jake down as much as much as possible and to fight against jake because they know that as uh, skin for skin bone for bone we blast these we blast all these nations out of the water skin for skin and bone for bone we blast all these nations out, out of the water it's it's our own dysfunctional mindsets and our dysfunctional way which is the way of darkness the way of ignorance the way of death which is blackness which is holding us back that's why the way of yahweh shai this destroys all that dysfunction and, and 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 raises you up that's why they don't want us to know when you come into this truth what do you start doing you start educating yourself you start striving to do better not only morally and among your people but also in everything that you do you strive to do better you strive for excellence because you know listen uh, when it, with the most high man i can i'm better i can be better there's no reason i can't do this or no reason i can't learn to do that i can do better than what i'm doing now because i'm i'm a prince of the power that's why volcan malone don't want us to be israelites 
Because we start reading, we start learning history. We start understanding that we are more than what we've been told we are. And that brings growth. You can't grow unless you have room for growth. You cannot grow unless you have room in within you to grow. If you cut off that room within you and limit yourself, then how can you grow? Like, you know, I was with a person which is very special to me. <laughs> and um, I was with her and we were doing a training for a particular sport. And every time... She would, she would be like, oh, no, I can't, I can't do that, and I can't do this, and I can't. I'd be like, listen, fuck all that. We don't do that talk around here. If you train and you work at it, you will get better at it than what you are now. And literally, by the end of the, she, man would be like, oh, I can't use my left foot. Then by the end of the training session, the, you, she using her left foot. I said, I thought you said you couldn't do it. So you need to get that can't. Do it out of your mindset. You ain't even tried to do it. You ain't even put in work to do it and you already defeated yourself. If you close yourself off, if you remove that space to grow, you'll never grow. And our people do that in a lot of things. There's a lot of things Jake shut themselves down from automatically because they're like, well, black people don't do that. Black people don't do that. Oh, that's not a black person thing. Listen, we're everything. We are everything. Everything that is... That every knowledge, every skill, that's who we are. Because we're the princes of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and our God is a God of knowledge and wisdom of all things. We can master all things. We ain't in no box that Esau wants to put us in. Because if we had to listen to Esau, there's a lot of things you do today that you wouldn't be doing right now. Because Esau said you couldn't do it. You understand? They only consult to cast him down from his excellence. They delight in lies because they're liars. The bell curve and all this bullshit, um, checking up the, the size of our skulls and saying we're criminals, all that. That's why Jake is so criminal minded because Jake Jake um, uh, has been programmed to think that's all he can be. So I'm just going to be a criminal. I'm just a nigger. I'm just, I'm, I'm a ghetto. I'm ghetto. What the hell is that? I'm ghetto. I'm a real nigga. What do you even, why are you even characterizing and identifying yourself with these negative tropes? Who gave this shit to you? Where does that come from? You are not innately like that. It's crazy. But, you know, that's why we got to be delivered. Deliver us from the hand of strange children, man. Psalms 144. They bless with the mouth, but they curse inwardly. So even when these devils are pretending like they're with you and are, yeah, we're with black people. No, they're always trying to find a way to get you to do something which is against yourself. And the so-called black woman is the prime example of that. Esau ain't with the so-called black woman. They ain't even paying these bitches in Hollywood. Esau's not with, Esau's only with the so-called black woman when he can manipulate her to do, manipulate her to do something that will destroy herself and her children and her man. Then he's with her. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the black woman, you know? But it's all about casting us down. The Esau only wants to uplift the so-called black woman to be a slut, to be self-destructive. Then he will uplift. He wouldn't be uplifting the so-called black woman if she was supporting the black man and, and, and raising her family uh, strategically to be strong and to be functional. Yeah, hell no. Just like these, you know, anyway, let's, let's move on. World in which black people don't do the best things. Black people are not expected to do the best things. And I remember finding it quite silly because I'd come from Nigeria and I thought, surely he knows Nigerians are all brilliant. No, we we're brilliant as a people when we're allowed to, you know, to, 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 to be ourselves and the way the most brilliant, because brilliant means light through Yahweh Shai. And that's what this, this ministry is all about. This ministry is about bringing back our brilliance, our light, our enlightened state, our state of, 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 of higher nature. That's what it's, uh, Ephesians, the fourth chapter, go and read it. The perfecting of the saints. 
all right? But this whole thing about being black is bullshit. That, listen, b- black is not a race. It's bullshit. Esau made that up in, 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 by, by uh, George Cuvier, which he was a demon. George Cuvier was a demon. I believe he's the one that... Um, what was the what? What did he write again? I know that name, Cuvier. He was a. It was another um, Satanist, George Cuvier. I know this guy. Which one did he? Catast catastrophism. Yeah, I know this. I knew I knew that name. Yeah, he's a big pussy old that uh, set up the whole catastrophe. Um, he, he's a big evolution, and you know evolution basically teaches that you so-called Negroes are closer to monkeys than, than, than um, so-called white people. Evolution is disrespectful. If you actually understand, when they teach you that the first people were black and from Africa, and they're also teaching you evolution, they're saying you're inferior because they're saying Esau is a more evolved version. Don't you understand that? When they teach your children evolution in the schools, we're teaching them white supremacy because what they're telling you is that you came before us and we're the evolved version of you. Don't you understand this? <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. I might have to do a separate video just on that. This is how ingrained this bullshit is into our people that you're learning it and you don't even know you're learning it. And this demon, Cuvier, all right? Um, yeah, so he classified the Caucasian, which is white, the Mongolian, which is yellow, and the Ethiopian, which is black, which is bullshit. Those are not races. Those are not races. Races is what? Let's get the meaning. What is a race? There's no difference between race and ethnicity. Race is a people of common descent. It's a lineage. Now, if you have a common descent, you will most likely look similar. But just because you, have, you look similar don't mean you're the same race. Just because you look similar doesn't mean it, it can it can be a sign that you're of the same race, but it doesn't mean you are of the same race. Because you can have two people that look similar, but they're two different races. Just like Moses passed for an Egyptian, they look similar. But it were two different races, because they were not of common descent, according to the, the division of the nations, which is by the seed of man, by the particular men. Right? People descended from a common ancestor, class of person allied by a common ancestry from the French race earlier, Raza, race, breed, lineage, or family. So it isn't a skin color. It's not to the strict definition, race is not cannot be determined to be black. Black cannot be a race because black is not a lineage or a family. So Esau sown confusion. Esau sown confusion. And that's why we gotta get rid of that when 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 um the, the Lord comes and he divides the sheep from the goats. He's going to separate all the nations back into their lineages of descent. There's not going to be no black people or white people. That's bullshit. There's going to be Israelites. There's going to be Moabites. There's going to be Ishmaelites. Because that's actual races. That's nations, according to the Bible. This version of race we have now, where he dubbed us to be black, is, is made up, it's artificial, it's empty. And then so he can define what black is. It's like an open open book to, to, to define you. And black comes with every negative, well, black is negative, every negative connotation you could think of. Okay. Yeah, so she made a good point, man. A lot of our people, man, they're messed up, man. But you see, even, but look, look where the salvation began, though, and begins. In America, because guess what? The power of the Lord can undo everything that Esau's done, beginning with the elect. So as messed up, that's why the scriptures speak about the dry bones. Can they live? As messed up as our people are, out of that messed up people, there's an elect. Because the Lord's power is greater than, than Esau, the, the Esau's power. So Esau messed us up, but it's in the Lord's power to, uh, well, it goes back into resurrection it's in the lord's power to bring life bring life into us to redeem us from this low estate that we found ourselves in and it is very fucking low and one of the reasons is this this black uh, uh experiment which has been done unto our people 
So anyway, I ain't going to rant on for too long. <laughs> if that, I'm going to say, inshallah, well. <laughs>